Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading for the week of May 13th. This week, if you want to catch me live, I go live every single day at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So all you have to do is subscribe, hit the bell, notification icon, and you will catch me live. But let's see what we have uh, going on for you, Scorpio people. And Scorpio, what is going on for you? I feel like some of you could be dealing with friend uh, at this time. I would be careful of friends, I would say, just with these cards here. Uh, it actually looks pretty good, is what I'm going to say. But um, I would say with this, and you have the Ten of Swords, you have the Eight of Spades, I'm sorry, the uh, Queen of Spades, Eight of Spades, you have the Ten of Spades here as well, the Two of Spades. I feel like some of you could have had a falling out with a friend, or uh, there could be some issue with a friend as well. What I would say to you is I would just uh, not engage in it, and you know I think things could change by next week. So for some of you, I feel like there's like a potential for falling out with a friend due to an argument or something here. But I would just avoid it and, you know, just almost ignore them if they start arguing. And then next week, I think things will change. For others, I would say no lending money to friends with these cards. What I would say to you is I feel like uh, that some of you, you know, could be that this situation here could be like a friend coming to you. Could be a family member as well. And they're like, oh, I need money, you know, whatever. Come, come up with some sort of story. And then you never see them again or you never see the money again. So if you are okay never seeing the money again, then you know, by all means, lend them the money, but just realize that you're never going to see it again. If you're not, then I would say don't do it. For others, this could just represent you. I feel like you're gaining clarity on a confusing situation uh, because next you have the Ten of Spades here. Yeah, Five of Clubs. So I feel like some of you could be, have been confused about something in the past. Could be in a relationship, could be money. And I feel like you are gaining clarity. Uh, Ten of Spades is actually a good card. It can represent moving on from something, letting something go. It's called the ship, like a boat in the ocean, and it just represents going from one thing to another. Uh, this could represent a move. Uh, Five of Clubs is the card of the adventurer. So a lot of you could be traveling or just going on adventures at this time. Uh, it could be this week, but for some of you, I feel like you're just planning these things. So again, maybe it's not this week, but maybe you are kind of creating the plans to be able to move or travel or you know whatever the case may be. I feel like that some of you are setting those things up right now, and I feel like it's a good time to do that. Uh, for others, this could represent some sort of change like a breakup, and Five of Clubs would represent dating and needing to uh, socialize. Five of Clubs is my card of socializing to find love. So if you went through a breakup, I would say socialize. Uh, next, you have the Three of Diamonds and the Two of Diamonds. Definitely be careful of your paperwork. Three of Diamonds represents problems with paperwork. For some of you, this could be a problem. Like if you've been involved in something legal or if you've been involved in something where you're owed money, there could be problems with the contract or the legal paperwork or something. Not a big deal. Uh, Two of Diamonds ultimately says that you will get the money but if you're dealing with something like that. But this can just represent a minor hiccup or a minor delay. For others, this could be just a confusion at work. And Two of Diamonds, again, says that this will be corrected. So I'd say if you deal with any problems at work or if you are dealing with any problems with money, I feel like these things will probably be corrected very quickly with the three, the uh, Two of Diamonds here. Again, Three of Diamonds is a minor annoyance with money or a minor annoyance with paperwork. So, like I said, probably annoying, but probably not that big of a deal. In your challenge position, you have the Nine of Hearts and the Queen of Hearts. Yeah, opening up to love could be a challenge. This came up for every single water sign. I think Cancer um, had the Queen of Hearts in the challenge position. I think Pisces, um, uh, I think they had something else. But anyway, I feel like opening up to love could be a challenge for you at this time. And not getting, the like, Nine of Hearts is a card of wishes. So when it comes up as a challenge, you can say that you are not getting the things you want or you, you are not seeing things through is what I'd say here. What I would say is that uh, for some of you, I feel like this the word that's popping to my head right now is results. So it's like maybe you have a business and maybe you expect to see certain results, but maybe you're not quite meeting the results that you want. But what I would say is that overall, I feel like there's progress or you are making progress. I feel like you just have to keep going. I feel like this could be like disappointment more than anything. So I feel like some of you could be having disappointments in love or you could be having disappointments, like I said, in business or work and based off of results. But I feel like it's your own expectation. So I'd say like even your solution card is the two of spades, which would be like letting something go. So for a lot of you, I feel like what you have to let go of is your expectations. It's like maybe you thought you were going to make $2 million this week in your business, but you only made $1 million. It's like, is that really that big of a deal? Probably not. So that's, a, of course, a ridiculous example. But the point is, is it's like, you know, really, I feel like you have to kind of adjust your expectations this week. Um, you know, who knows? Maybe it's like Neptune and, you know, Neptune is at like 18 degrees in Pisces. And, you know, I, I mean, I guess I could see how maybe that makes us have this like inflated sense of, you know, what to expect. So and we could be creating these fantasies and things like that in our head. So 
Um, you know, that's what I would say there. I would be careful of that. I think 18 degrees is like the degree of the devil. So, you know, it's at 18 degrees. It's going to be there for a while. And um, so, you know, that can make create these like crazy fantasies in our heads. So we have to be careful of that. But um, that's what I'd say here. Uh, next, two of spades. I, want to, I clarified it right away because I just wanted to see what the answer was. And you have the three of hearts. Three of hearts is a very good card. It, you know, I don't attach a meaning to the three of hearts. To me, it just says you're moving in the right direction. To me, I call it an indicator card. It just kind of sets the tone for the reading if it shows up. And it says things are being pushed more towards the positive. Two of spades is, again, changing something. I feel like and the word that popped into my head was expectations. So I feel like no expectations of anything this week. And I feel like that will make your whole week flow so much better, uh, Scorpio. And finally, you have the Seven of Diamonds and the Six of Clubs. So really good. Uh, Seven of Diamonds is a card of profits, promotions, raises. So really good for money. Six of Clubs, incremental improvements. So it represents improvements in love, money, anything where you want to improve. So I feel like you could be seeing very step-by-step -step improvements. But again, like I said, Queen of Hearts, Nine of Hearts in your challenge position. I feel like you are hoping for bigger moves maybe, but maybe it's just not going to happen this week. And that's fine because like I said, I feel like ultimately you are just you are heading where you need to go. You are heading towards your goals and wishes and there's money available. And this could also be incremental improvements in love. This could be communication. So a lot of you could be going from no communication to communication, or you could start talking to somebody new with these two cards as well. So it uh, looks like a pretty interesting week, I would say to you, Scorpio. Yeah, I wouldn't say good. I wouldn't say bad as usual, but it looks pretty good. So uh, thank you for watching and enjoy your week.